Seven out of ten, not bad. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Shield Outdoors. Today, I am repping the Red Ranger because we all know he was the best. And if you don't agree, drop a comment below with your favorite Power Ranger, even though you're wrong. If it's not the red one, you're wrong. So, this footage is like two weeks old, and I've been sitting on it because I've been trying to get so much stuff done. Good news, I got my YouTube verified. I got the custom URL. We are moving on up in the world. So we didn't get a good intro on this video because we were sitting in like a foot of water. I didn't want to get the good cameras out. And this video starts, I already have one goose on the ground that came in while we were setting up. So I hope you guys enjoy. Take a look and let me know what you think. What's up guys? Day two of, at least for us, for early goose season. We're sitting in like 16 inches of water. We've never done anything like this. There is some ducks landing right here. There's already about a dozen ducks on the water. We scared up about 100 ducks when we got out here. Unfortunately, we cannot kill no ducks today, but I think we're gonna have a good morning. We've never hunted in like a scenario like this where we sit in tall grass around water, but we had so much rain from the hurricanes that a lot of these fields are flooded out, so we're gonna give it a shot. Are you on? I'm on. They're not low enough, not nearly low enough. Let them land, let them land. Oh, son of a gun. I was gonna say, they were, they were too high. Coming back around, Joey. Let's just let's just go ahead and try it. Wait. Do it. <laughs> well, I dropped one. <laughs> He hit the water hard, he's dead dead, I just don't know where. All right, here's our setup, boys and girls. We took the risk of not being able to shoot this way, the truck's over there in a house. So we're only gonna be able to shoot safely, this way and around. This is awesome. Go ahead. You got him. <laughs> when did he land here? I don't know. What in the world? What? What? <laughs> okay, so we were we were just on the DNR website. We're just like reading up about laws, trying to make sure, obviously, that we're that we're following all regulations. And we hear a splash. A goose just landed out here in the water, just one. So apparently, we need to put our phones away and uh, pay more attention. Liam, you, you you think we just take them right now when they're coming at us? I think so, dude. Now. Nope. Oh yeah, your truck, sorry. I dropped two. Ready? Yeah. I dropped one. Okay. I dropped one. I know that. Dude, my first shot, I don't, I think they were too close. I think they were too close, dude. Here's two dead ones right here. I dropped two right in here somewhere. Here's one. I absolutely peppered one. I, I only see one. Oh, here he is. I did get two. Uh, Joey, wait, hold on. Hold on, maybe I can get him. Hold on, let me put this one down with these. He's dead, dead. Oh, shoot. Go ahead. Wait, let, just let him stick his head up and pop him right in the head. All right, I know that happened really, really fast, but we have slow-mo, so let's go over that real quick. Okay, so my first shot, I make a bird flutter, but I do not knock him out of the air. Joey's first shot, 
hits a bird and makes him start gliding down. I transitioned to a second bird and I shot, absolutely melted him. Joey's second shot is gonna be what is now the third bird from the right on the top. Joey makes him flutter, doesn't knock him out of the air. I go ahead and transition back to the first bird I missed and I melt him. And then Joey takes his third shot and absolutely destroys the bird that he wounded on his second shot. So this is a really good example of knowing which birds you're shooting at, knowing how many birds are in the air, and how many of you have hit. Not as big of a deal on this day because we could kill five per person. On any other day during the year, you can only kill three in Indiana per person per day. So it's a big deal to know how many you've hit and how many you've knocked out of the air. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We shot like some straight noobs today. We, shot, we missed a lot of birds. I'm not going to lie. So six out of 10, I'm not complaining. Lots of good meat for us today. We have waders just because we usually sit in super muddy cornfields. We've never been able to hunt over open water like this. Um, at least not that I can remember. If you are a big deer hunter, make sure you check out Texas Ray's hunting products. They have everything you need. And I still have a giveaway going on. If I can get 1500 subscribers, I'm gonna bring somebody out on my private land to kill some of the bucks that I've posted pictures of. So get in on it. Thanks for watching. Now we got work to do.